It's a fact. The cooler your plasma cutting torch runs, the better your cut result will be. Regular monitoring of the entire cooling system is essential to keep your equipment running at peak efficiency. You'll get longer consumable life and better cuts, with less time needed for post-cut grinding and cleanup. If you suspect your cooling system isn't operating at its optimal level, check these five potential trouble spots. Low coolant pressure or high temperatures can shut down your production line. Check the system pressure reading on the control panel. If you see it is below the amount recommended by the manufacturer, a detailed check of the entire coolant path is in order. Are filters old or dirty? If so, clean the filter or replace it with a new one. Are hoses and fittings flush and tight? Is the pump in good shape? As pumps age, their efficiency wanes. Adjust the pump to allow for wear, or better yet, replace it. As time goes by, coolant can take on tiny bits of copper and other particles of conductive materials. This contamination can cause difficulty in starting the torch because the necessary power needed to fire the pilot arc is sapped by the conductive materials in the coolant. Hard starts and poor quality cuts are indicators of increasing conductivity. The best way to diagnose this condition is with a conductivity meter, which measures resistance in the coolant. The coolant may not be flowing through the system at the proper volume, allowing torch and consumable temperatures to rise above system limits. This could cause a complete system shutdown if left unchecked. Some systems have a visual indicator of positive flow, but knowing the flow rate is important. Use your equipment manual to determine the range of acceptable flow rate, and then see if the system pressure reading on the control panel is acceptable. Consider installing a flow meter in the coolant line. It's easy and inexpensive, a fast way to visually check the coolant flow rate. If you have checked out the previous tips and the coolant temperature is still running high, you may have a failure with one of the mechanical or electronic system components. Use your equipment manual to locate and check each of the main system components. If you have found that returning coolant appears chalky white, most likely air is entering the system at some point. This could be due to a low level of coolant in the reservoir. Make sure the level of coolant in the reservoir is always at the manufacturer's recommended level. If coolant levels are correct and the milkiness persists, check the inlet connection on the pump, including the gasket, to ensure a tight fitting. Have a question about your CNC plasma machine? We can help. Call 800-342-8477 and ask for our plasma technical specialist.